Hi, I'm Ready? talking to Matt McKenna. He's the founder of Redfish Media. They spearheaded the mobile campaign for Wyclef's charity, Yele, and they are right now on the ground in Haiti right now. So thank you so much for talking to me today. You're coming to me from Miami, of course. Uh, yeah, it's my pleasure. Um, you know, actually, our, our fundraising division of Redfish Media is called Give on the Go, and Wyclef's been our client for several months and been a friend for several years. So we were ready to go when the disaster struck, um, and it's it's been our you know, it's been our great honor to to help these people and to get the word out. Are you surprised at the response? Because this natural disaster was pretty much one of the first that used mobile technology really to get donations in masses. Yeah, I mean this is really an historic week. Um, I think the latest numbers were something like twenty eight million dollars through the mobile giving channel, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. Um, just to put that in perspective, the best year that the mobile giving channel has had has been about a million dollars for the whole year with, you know, about 150 different charities that have active programs. So, you know, we broke records uh, the first day in this. It's been an amazing thing to see the United States be educated in a matter of days on what texting is and how this technology works. And everybody's gotten behind it. And it's been pretty remarkable. How much has Yele raised through the texting? Uh, I haven't gotten updated numbers for the last few days, but they were at three million two days ago. And, and, and during the conference, they had said that their goal was to raise one million each day, so would that make seven million up to now, perhaps? Yeah, yeah I, I can't confirm or deny that. Uh, we're, 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 it's, it's happened so fast that we're yeah. waiting to get updated numbers, but the, the amount of support that's come out for, for Yclef and Yele has been huge and it's been it's been a very important part uh, you know we have to thank Twitter his Twitter account um, went out moments after the earthquakes uh, struck and you know everybody was pouring in it was the number one most talked about thing on Twitter for two days or three days straight it's still a very, it's still one of the top things on there so everybody is has done what they can to get the word out um, and it, it's been pretty amazing when, when you compare uh, you know, Y Club's a very new organization. He's not, you know, a, a, somebody like the Red Cross who everybody knows. So mm -hmm. everybody's been very supportive of him and understands his love and devotion to his homeland. And obviously, Matt, um, that has brought up some controversies and other headlines. It being a smaller charity and all with all the uh, the tax issues that have recently been brought up, and he did confront that topic during the conference. You know, yeah. Y Club personally and professionally. What are your thoughts on this matter? Uh, I, I would trust um, Wyclef with, with, with every dollar. Uh, he's imperative to the operation. He's been helping Haiti for years, and he's uh, continually called upon by heads of state and large organizations to help them spearhead operations on the ground. So uh, I think he's got a lot of great people in his corner, and uh, we'll make sure that everything is done appropriately and to the best of his ability. Well, do you you know, question these things when, when information like this comes up, do you understand why people are perhaps questionable about the charity? Well, I think, you know, on a, on a, on a bigger level, people don't really understand what it takes to make things happen. And they start to, to hone in on figures and numbers and not really look at what's behind it. So, uh, you know, if you look at any of these organizations, there's cost for rent, there's cost for production, there's mm -hmm. cost for fundraising. And everything that he's done over the years has been in line with appropriate expenditures, in my opinion. What were Wyclef's initial reactions when this came up? Well, you know, I was actually sitting in, in, in his hotel room at the, in, in Miami a moment after he got back from Haiti, um, and there was a piece on the news that we watched that that was, you know, broadcasting this angle, and, and he was hurt. I think I really looked in his eyes, and I saw somebody who was really hurt by this. Um, the accusations hit him right to the heart. Uh, you know, he started this organization with his own money, and... He's on the ground, you know, putting bodies in holes and helping his people when everybody else is sitting in their office, you know, criticizing. So um, he's the most stand-up guy that I know. So moving forward, how do they expect to, I guess, overcome a bit of, of a hurdle now? Well, you know, I spoke, to, I spoke to, to his cousin Jerry a couple of hours ago. They just finished uh, taping Oprah. Um, so I think that's going to be a pivotal moment, you know, Oprah. Um, speaking to Wyclef, speaking about what he's doing in Haiti. I, I know that, um, you know, President Clinton is a supporter of, of Yale Haiti, and I know all these guys will, will, will rally to help him this week. And how did the Oprah special go, by the way? 
Uh, you know, all, all Jerry said was a very emotional, very emotional interview. And now moving forward, Yele, what are they hoping to do on the ground with obviously a lot of the money that they have raised? You know, um, we've been so focused on, on keeping the, the text channel alive and yeah. trying creative ways to get that going. I haven't seen the official plan, but I know that, you know, he mentioned four or five things that they were focusing on getting into Haiti. Um, you know, I, I haven't been on, on the, uh, the website today to see what's been updated, but I know they were focusing on water. Uh, medical supplies, protein, and setting up the um, the channel of distribution on the ground. I mean, it's obviously very hostile there right now. Yeah. And why clefts a voice that can calm those people? All right. Well, thank you so much, Matt, for giving us some more insight on all of this. Well, I appreciate it, Shira, and um, you know, reach out if you need anything. Take care.